What's up everybody? Um, today I'm going to show you a pretty cool experiment. Um, this is quite interesting and I think you should really think about it. And tell me what your thoughts are. So, quite interestingly I did this experiment about almost a year ago. Not quite a year ago. And um, so I'm finally just now making a video on it because I think it's quite interesting. And I think you'll really like it. So, first thing I must tell you about this experiment is that it is very dangerous. You are going to be, if you do this yourself anyway, uh, and I am going to be dead shorting a battery. So you, you must be very cautious while, while, while doing such a thing because it's very, very dangerous. If uh, the leads happen to stick to the battery and the wire is really small, it's going to get hot and burn up really, really, really fast. So be very cautious when doing this experiment. Let's get started. Okay, so here's what you're going to need for this experiment. All right, it's pretty straightforward and simple. You're going to need a piece of wood or plastic or something non-disruptive uh, from the magnetic field. Uh, you're going to drill a hole in it, about like yay. All right, you're going to need some nuts. Any size will do. These are half-inch uh, nuts. They're pretty big. The smaller ones, uh, I don't know, they all seem to work pretty much the same. Um, you're going to line these nuts up, alright, to where they're right around the hole. Alright, okay. The more the centered, the better. The better aligned the nuts are, the better. Then, you're going to take a piece of thick wire. Don't get a piece of thin wire, get a piece of thick wire. And a battery of some kind. I'm using a 12 volt battery. Basically, all you're going to do is stick the wire through the hole. Alright, hold one wire on one side, tap the wire on the other side, just like that, that's all you need. Remove the wire, remove the battery, and now you have a set of nuts that are connected together magnetically and as soon as you break one they're not stuck together either. they have no residual okay they do not stick together and I'm going to get the golf meter out and we're going to do some tests and see if we can detect any magnetic field on this thing super simple easy thing you probably have never seen before um, if you have seen some idea do it freaking awesome I'm sure somebody's done it. Line them up. Doesn't really matter which way. That's all you really need. They're already stuck. See? Do it again. Just for fun. So there you go. If you can explain that one to me, then I'll give you a prize. When I say explain it to me, I mean really explain it to me. Oh yeah. So let's just see if we can detect any kind of magnetic field around this thing at all. Alright, so I have here a gauss meter. Um, this gauss meter right y'all you can see the brand make and model um, I haven't really used this very much there's a teeny tiny little bitty magnet like you can't even see it let's see if we can detect so we can definitely detect this little magnetic field quite easily let me move this closer so you can see the somewhere so you can see the meter there you go Alright, so let's just bring it over here, see if we can detect any magnetic fields. So if I just let this probe sit, you can see it kind of jumps around. 
We can try to get it more to zero, but it is so sensitive. So you can see there's there's a tiny magnetic field between between these parts when I check between them. Let's try the inside. How about we do the front? Let's go around the front. So the only place that I can even detect much is right there. I get a negative value. I get a slightly positive value on the, uh, not really this one. So what happens if we break it? And now check one of these nuts. What do we get? I mean, you make the call. Is there anything there that's that's worthwhile or not? I mean, look at this. Look at this tiny little bitty magnet. Okay, this tiny magnet. Look how sensitive this piece of equipment is. And I can go almost off the charts with this thing. So anyway, you make the call. What do you guys think? what's happening inside this. I'm going to consider it magnetic current. And uh, it's pretty cool what you can do is actually set this up and tie a piece of string on here and hang it from a piece of string. People will be like, what? No way, those are glued together. Then you can hand it to them and they fall apart. You can't get to go back together. spinning on a piece of string. Not so much on wire. Oh! Broke it. Alright, well that's the experiment. I really, uh, really curious to see what you guys think, man. It's crazy. Actually, it's pretty simple and straightforward, but I haven't had anyone explain it very good. You know, Edley Skeldon does a good job explaining this, but uh, there's other theories out there and I'd love to hear them. So. Um, leave a description, uh, actually in the description of this video I'm going to leave a link over to my forums and I want you to post some, uh, some thoughts there. So, alright, peace and love you all, have a good day. Russ with RWGResearch.com, see ya.